what are the costs with selling a home? Now, this varies depending on where you are. But typically speaking, when you buy a home, you're paying the transfer tax. You're buying this. Sometimes they call it a welcome tax where you're going to be contributing to the city a fairly large sum. And that sum there is going to be used to help reconnect the pipes, the water, the roads and everything else, the electrical panels, everything that goes into what the city requires to run. So normally that's on the buyer side, the seller's side, we always have the legal that's going to be in there. And the lawyers typically will manage the taxes if there is any taxes on the sell, but they usually have the fee to transfer it. Now, it really depends where you are, where I am, normally two to 3,000 in legal fees to do that. Now, inside that two or 3,000, there's going to be different fees that are going to be included. For example, getting rid of a lien on your property, there would be a charge for that or checking your title, wherever you are, there is going to be a land registry of some kind that's going to have a check on it. You also are going to be having to check usually your credit or do something with the bank. And there's going to be some transfer fees, normally small, 25, $35. The biggest part that's going to come when staging your home is how much you're going to pay in real estate fees. The real estate fees in the United States is typically 6%. In Canada, it's typically 5%. Remember that that percentage is split 50-50. So the selling agent will take 2.5% in Canada and the buying agent will get 2.5. So the selling agent out of the 2.5% is going to pay all the marketing, pay for your websites, your videos, your sign on your yard. He's going to put out ads for you, maybe paper ads. He's going to make a lot of calls to try to get your home sold. He's going to have to do staging inside if that is required. Whatever is required to sell, the agent has to pay out of pocket up front before the home is even sold. So that's the biggest chunk. If you're thinking of this in Toronto, where average home is a million bucks, 5% of a million bucks is $50,000. You take that $50,000 and give 25 to the buying agent and 25,000 over to the selling agent. The buyer's agent, he's getting 25 grand. Now, how does he get his money? The buying agent is normally in his car, driving around for six months, nine months, a year. Like it could be forever. Every weekend looking at properties, putting in offers for six months, maybe this happens all the time. So they have a lot of time commitment, a lot of parking, a lot of gas on the side of the selling agent. Now it's a lot more skilled that you need to do this stuff. So in order to run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, building websites, uh, the calling, like for ourselves, we have like 5,000 people just on our mailing list who are buyers looking to buy. We also have ads that we run and we try to target half a million people within our first week normally. So having the skill sets to do more skill things, you need a team of people in order to do it. So that's harder to build a team and all the skill sets required around that. They're usually paying for their skill sets and how many buyers that they're working with at the exact same time to try to get it sold for you. So two different skill sets completely. So some people are specifically buying agents and some people are specifically selling agents. Hope that helps. So you guys, my name is David Ruff and I operate in the beautiful city of Toronto, Canada. I'm a real estate broker. We have an entire team here, full service for anything that you need in selling your properties. This is what we specialize in. This is what we are experts at. If you need us for anything, you can always reach out to us, send us a message. We'll get back to you. If you're not in the greater Toronto area, I'm always here to help you as well. If you have any questions, send it below. I answer all of them and thank you very much for coming by. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you like that video, you might like this one and maybe something like that.